Good morning, YouTube. In this video, I'm going to compare the processors in the Nexus 4 and the LTE Samsung Galaxy S4. When the Samsung Galaxy S4 was first announced, like many people, I was disappointed that the version we get here, the LTE version, was not going to have Samsung's own 8-core Exynos Octa processor. Instead, like the Nexus 4, the SGS4 would also get a Snapdragon quad-core processor. In fact, in my SGS4 unboxing video last week, I even stated, I'm not as excited uh, as I was with other Galaxy S releases. Wow, that's really light. For one reason being, this has the exact same processor as the Nexus 4. I said that because I thought Qualcomm just rebranded their S4 Pro chip from last year as the S600 chip this year. However, that is incorrect. They are not the same chip. As YouTube commenter True Desire HD was very quick to point out, S600 is actually a newer design, newer CPU, with uh, many new improvements, uh, including DDR3 RAM as pointed out by Stavros Vorkas. So let's compare the two processors in a little more detail. Here is a diagram of a Snapdragon processor. As you can see, it is made up of many different components, including, of course, the CPU and the GPU. Now looking at the two chips, you can see both are quad-core. Both use the same Adreno 320 GPU. Both are Crate architecture, but one is Crate 200 and the other is Crate 300. And that is where our key difference is. Let's look at the differences between the Crate 300 and the Crate 200 in more detail. The Crate 300 has advanced architecture for performance improvements. The max clock speed has now increased to 1.9 gigahertz from 1.5 gigahertz. There's now a new level two cache hardware data prefetcher. And as mentioned earlier, now there's a DDR3 RAM. Qualcomm says we can expect a, about a 40% overall performance gain due to the optimizations and increased clock speed. Now that we know that the SGS4 does in fact have a newer, faster CPU, let's uh, do a popular benchmark test just to see what the difference looks like. Started them pretty close to at the same moment, but you can see how much faster the SGS4 is. So uh, the Nexus 4 is now on the IO section, but you can see the SGS4 has is well into the graphics part of the test. Okay, we're already at the planets here. We're not even close to it here. And just as we get into the DNA here, we haven't even started with the planets there. Okay, there's the difference. Wow. So you can see the SGS4 is already done quite a bit faster than the Nexus 4. So let's wait here till the Nexus 4 finishes. Okay. So a uh, huge difference there. 4,900 for the Nexus 4 versus 12,387. Of course, this is not just because of uh, the processor. There can be uh, many other things that decide what uh, the quadrant score is. So, you know, doesn't mean this is four times, three times as fast as this, but there's clear evidence that the SGS4 is faster than the Nexus 4. Thank you for watching.